Coming up next, it's a UFC Bantamweight Division fight. guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice one-two combination there. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the jab there. Shooting for the takedown here. Roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Look at a working at trying to shut the liver down. Very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, nice right hand. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Great action. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. What a punch. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? He loaded up on that right there, too. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about dust. He's got a very bad hit. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good stick. Huge block there. Just missed with that right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float up. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to get you. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Big punch land. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Huge right hand! Now it's his mouth. Now he's on top of the wow. Wow. wow! Oh! Woo! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight. Feel All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. You ready? Uh, you ready? Let's go. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well on as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, big punch land. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Bang Muay Thai on full display here. Dillashaw a really good flow here, DC. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Ooh-wee! I, I don't do that as well as you do, That's but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooey, please? Ooh-wee! <laughs> <laughs> so good. Nice strike. Dillashaw gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh! Ball combination lands, and it's...
seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have landed for the great T.J. Dillashaw. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. It's a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. And they separate. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the duck. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Beautiful strike. Well, a shot moving forward with a combination. Beautiful head kick. Back to the jab now. No good. Connects with the right. Oh, nice. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, he heard a bat with his jab. How good is that right hand? Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on them. The punch that lands in the field is the one that lands perfect. And that one that is perfect. it. He got it. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Buffer, he has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Corey Sanhagen!